so how I got started with software engineering started off thinking that I wanted to be a doctor and that was also not something out of passion or anything back home in India we only had two choices um, especially when the time I was growing up we either could be engineers or doctors I was under that typical um, mindset of my parents so they basically told me I can I can be a doctor or an engineer and then I thought I'll be a doctor. I worked uh, towards that, but my high school grades uh, weren't exactly enough to meet that doctor cutoff. So I ended up, you know, thinking of what I could do. And I spoke to a bunch of people. Um, there was there were a few relatives in the US. They suggested me that if you want to come to the US, just make sure you take computer science because that's probably um, the most growing field and the highest paying, of course. So yeah, that's that's the reason that I took software engineering. Um, and yeah, here I am. Hi, my name is Ashwin and I'm a software developer at Amazon. So I'm originally from India. Um, I'm uh, from a city called Coimbatore, which is one of the southernmost uh, cities um, in the country. I would say education, um, especially my college, was very important uh, because I didn't come from a computer science background. I was kind of uh, really scared on if I would like pass the subjects in, in college. That was the first concern. So I took some coaching classes for a few programming languages like C and C++, I think, um, before going to college. And that kind of helped me. And I actually liked it. Um, I was pretty OK. I wasn't like as bad as what I thought I would be. And from there, I started off. And you know, eventually, I got good grades in my first semester, which boosted my confidence. He actually didn't expect to get a call from, from Amazon. Um, I attended. A bunch of conferences uh, related to uh, tech and I, I I think Amazon was a part of some of those conferences and um, when I submitted my resume I think that's how I got the call I'm still not sure but I believe that's how I got it um, I looked at a bunch of blogs written about Amazon leadership principles yeah it was just basic coding rounds debugging and the technical interviews and stuff so for lead code, I think it's important to understand what um, the questions are first. Major like topics the questions come from. It's uh, probably a set of um, data structures and you know string arrays kind of stuff. It was like overall a month or month and a half. So after that, yeah, I think I got the offer. Yeah, I work for AWS um, for a team that is uh, related to big data and um, we deal with open source applications um, wherein we kind of modify these applications according to our needs uh, with respect to AWS uh, requirements and my day-to-day -day responsibilities would be kind of to start the day off by checking emails, look at code reviews of my team, um, there would be uh, m most of the team members would be having uh, multiple code reviews on some days and um, I'll be taking some time to look at that. And then after that, there'll be our daily standup uh, where we kind of discuss about what we've worked on uh, the previous day and what we plan on doing for the current day. Um, after that, I um, look at what I have for my daily tasks. So basically, we plan our sprints uh, for every two weeks, which is like a bi-weekly sprint. Uh, work on that and try to finish all the tasks for that particular sprint. That's how we go about it. Have multiple tasks that uh, have like estimates for like one day or two days. And then um, I kind of go about that and try to finish as much as I can. Um, it'll probably be, you know, that it could be a documentation work. It could be a coding uh, um, task or something like that. So, and then there is the, there's also designs and other stuff that uh, we need to look at. So diving deep again over that is also very important and it sometimes can be 
stressful some of the major fears uh, that i have so mainly i think it would be um the education loans that i have back home so when i came for my masters i had to take um a quite a quite a bit of loan to actually pay my uh, regular uh, college fee so which was also not uh, very less for international students it's actually quite expensive i actually um have done a good job with the loans where i've paid off a pretty good amount but i still have a few that i need to pay off and i think that's always on the back of your mind it could be like considered as a motivation as well where you know i have to pay off my loans i'm going to work hard but it's also always uh, there's this pressure where you you know sometimes think about okay what happens right now if i don't have a job and how will i pay off my loans and yeah i mean there's always um that single factor pushing you um it's always in the back of your head and it's kind of stressful at times and that's something i fear about quite often i think is is the loans i think we have hard deadlines because uh this is like a customer based environment and we need to like send out some release versions or uh whatever like the customer requires and that has to be done in a particular deadline so that deadline is always on the back of your mind and even when you're estimating your tasks based on this deadline sometimes there are possibilities that there are other issues that are related to the tasks that you have that come in and it could take more than like 2 or 3 days that you expected to finish that particular task so that is that is always an issue with hard deadlines solving problems at work i think the the main thing is to kind of understand the problem and um see how this problem like affects the customer affects uh, us and kind of um look into multiple approaches to solve this issue and we can also have a discussion with um your peers your team lead and kind of weigh down as to which one could be better for the customer customer obsession is something that amazon really enforces on it's their main principle so i think that is something we always have in mind and when we are weighing down op- approaches we are always like putting the customer first and we solve problems according to that if you ask anybody i think pushing themselves out of their comfort zone and achieving something is always going to be on top of their like priority lists because um that gives you gives you a certain like uh confidence and um you know it assures you that you'll be able to do something that you thought you cannot so i think amazon i think has definitely pushed me to do that uh so over the past year i've been in many situations where i have worked on issues that i was not really comfortable on but then i ended up solving these problems where i felt really happy after that so that has helped me boost my confidence a lot would i recommend software engineering to others um definitely if they are passionate about or if they do not have you know any choice of work and like if someone is just saying i just need a high paying job um which is you know which where i have to work 9 to 5 on a regular basis then i would definitely recommend software engineering because um i was someone in the same like criteria in a practical materialistic way i just wanted a job here in the us since i always loved the independent lifestyle here so um for that software engineering has always uh, been a good good space future goal in my life build a hobby or do something that i'm passionate about and maybe in the future try to build like a second career out of that it could be a small hobby that i'm starting out and i might gain so much interest in that then i can maybe think of like making a career out of that later um so that's something i'm planning on working uh, for in the future 
uh, but not right now uh, i think right now i have so many you know things in place so yeah right, i think making a second career out of something i'm passionate about would be the future goal